crashing at Linkoping on February 2nd, 1989, with the test pilot Large Rydstrom surviving with a broken elbow. Oh. Welcome guys, welcome to my channel, and today I'm joined by an amazing person, Zeli. And today we'll be, we'll be checking out this Sweden content, it's just 39 gripping, how Sweden built the best world non-stand jet fighter, and this is the first time we're actually so let's get right into this video today guys. Hmm. Honestly, I've always wanted to try out. You are probably familiar with famous jets like the U-2, F-16 Falcon, or F-22 Raptor. F Globally, yeah, these yeah. multi-role combat this is, this is jets are well known for their superior features and offensive capabilities. But have you ever heard of the Saab JAS-39 Gripen? Mm. Though not as famous as its US counterpart, the Swedish fighter jet should not be underestimated when it comes to systems and capacity. Well, this, this is how amazing is it really? Manufactured by the Swedish down. Aerospace no, and Defense no. Company Saab AB, JAS-39 Gripen is a light single-engine multi-role combat aircraft in service with the Swedish Air Force. The Gripen features a delta wing, which is a wing shaped in the form of a triangle. It also has a canard configuration with negative stability design and fly-by-wire flight system, replacing the conventional manual flight controls with an electronic interface. By 2020, more than 200 Gripens of various models A to F have been developed. Wow, that's a lot. That's really a lot. But it looks portable. First, in let's dig into the history of the JAS-39 Gripen. The Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Vigen in the late 1970s. For a defensive dispersed basing plan in the case of invasion, the Swedish Air Force needed a cheap Mach 2 aircraft with good short field performance. Actually, I want to get something, right? You know, yeah, um, I'm not really a jet person, but I normally thought that it's fire that normally comes out from that one there. <laughs> like, honestly, I like, really think it's fire. But just watching, I think, I'm, I think it's, it's A. It's come fire at the speed it moves at, like the way the engine, like some cars now, mm. the exhaust do yeah. flame up, but not all the time, though. Mm -hmm. If you move it at a certain speed, I think it's flaming up. I, I think how stressed the engine is at, let's say, produce it. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you like push the pedal to the man, and, like, then secondly, you know, the 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 tail, uh, would I say the like tail? Like, the wing, is, like, you notice it's moving, like, well, not, that, not that one actually. You see, where I said I thought fire normally comes yeah. out, right? Is um, air, right? Mm -hmm. But what is keeping it from not going down? If air is coming out from the back, yeah, like, I don't understand that I gravity. The, the air is like to propel it. To keep forward. forward, yeah, but what's propelling it from not going down? The wings. <laughs> the wings? Yeah. I feel like everything is so is, heavy. No, it is actually very light. Oh, very light. Compared to the US, what is it called? F-22 or F-22? What well, the beginning, the US? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what I was saying. This one looks so much portable. I think this is like the length of this room, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. This looks like this is so portable. So I think this one won't have a hard time flying. Okay. It's, I think it's Charles Gary TV. Sorry, yeah, sorry, for, the pause, sorry for the pause. But I myself, I don't even know what I'm seeing. I'm just saying this based on absorption, like based on looks. But yeah. I think this video further into it might explain everything. How so, everything works. Yeah, I hope it does. So let's continue. Yeah. The concept included 800 meter long by 17 meter wide primitive runways from the base 90 system. One speech. goal was to make the plane smaller than the Vigan while maintaining yeah, or increasing its smaller. payload range performance. The Saab 38, also known as the B3LA, was proposed as an attack aircraft and trainer, and the A20, a modification of the Vigan, was proposed as a fighter, attack, and maritime reconnaissance aircraft. The General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet, and the Northrop F-20 Tiger Shark were among the foreign designs which were studied and taken as references. All these big ass missiles here, look at how big. Are these? In 1970, the South Swedish government region. commenced the study for an all-around so platform capable of JAS, oh, which stands for Aerial Warfare, yeah, Close Air Support, support as well as Reconnaissance, indicating okay. multi-role capabilities yeah. to satisfy various roles during missions. Yeah, right. A number of Saab mm -hmm. designs like were reconsidered, like with Project like 2105 okay. being the most favorable, recommended to the government by the Defense Material Administration. 
Then, in the 1980s, the industrial arm of the Swedish Armed Forces, consisting of several big corporations like Saab Scania, LM Ericsson, and Volvo Flagmotor, Volvo. established the JAS Industry Group as a joint so venture. Wants, um, just to, well, this is interesting. The Gripen was first rolled out by Saab on April 26, 1987, at the company's 50th anniversary. The first flight on December 9, 1988 was actually delayed by 18 months due to some issues with the flight control system. Problems concerning the aircraft's avionics, particularly the fly-by-wire flight control system, FCS, and the relaxed stability design appeared during the test program. This problem caused the prototype to crash during an attempted land coping on February 2, 1989, with the test pilot Lars Rydstrom surviving with a broken elbow. Pilot-induced oscillation was determined as the cause of the crash, which was caused by issues with the FCS's pitch control routine. Following the crash, the Saab and U.S. firm Calspan introduced software-related modifications to the aircraft. A partnership agreement between Saab military aircraft and British Aerospace was announced during the 1995 Paris Air Show. This cooperation between the two will form the joint venture company Saab BAE Gripen AB with the purpose of adapting, producing, marketing, and supporting Gripen at the international level. The partnership also involves the transfiguration of the A and B series aircraft to the export C and D series, which encourage the Gripen's compatibility with the standard of NATO. Now, let's take a look at the design and features embedded in the JAS-39 okay, Gripen. One thing that probably differentiates Gripen from the rest of the 4-plus generation fighters on the market is its small size along with the low cost required. Even though it's difficult to calculate the flyaway cost, the Gripen reportedly had the government spend less than $60 million. Whoa. Gripen also boasted its low operational cost, probably the lowest of any modern fighter jets. That's the lowest cost, 60 million. <laughs> For its physical specs, the Gripen could take off at a maximum of 16,500 kilograms and is able to accelerate up to Mach 2. Mach 2. Notable That's for its supercruise ability, Gripen has a range like, of approximately 1,500 um, okay. kilometers. I think for each mark determining the, the, the speed, yeah. I think, if I'm not mistaken, right, I think either Mach 1 or Mach 2 is, is, is this, um, speed of sound. Oh. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, right? Because it's been a long time since I uh, those. yeah yeah. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, though, I think my two should be. Oh, you you actually watch Flash now? Yeah yeah yeah. Right? yeah, yeah so yeah. let me even use that as a very simple <laughs> explanation. When Flash got to Mark One, yeah. you know, it could move faster than the speed of sound. Yes, I think oh, so. So Mark Two is like above the speed. Yeah, of sound. I think Mark Two is like the speed of light. If I'm not mis I don't. I don't <laughs> That's it's possible. I see slightly like above speed of sound, yeah. so it can take off at speed of sound. What yeah, is very fast. You know, these are fast. These are fast it's engines, man. It's supposed to be fast. And it has less weight. Like you see the kg. It's yeah. Scary. Less weight, so it looks as like faster. For either beyond visual range missile BVR and dogfighting combatants, Gripen is surely at the top of its class. The Gripen has a reputation for being user-friendly, with simple displays and a straightforward interface. In terms of lethality, the Gripen was the first fighter in the world to carry the lethal Meteor air-to-air -air missile, a beyond-visual-range BVR weapon capable of tracking and killing targets up to 80 miles away. What? The Gripen C is capable of carrying four Meteor missiles, while the Gripen E is capable of carrying seven. Seven. Hmm. Nah, Another this interesting this is, this is aspect nice. of the Gripen is the addition of dedicated electronic warfare uh, pods to the Gripen's this. already this allegedly this formidable onboard jamming capabilities. According to Saab, yes, this is probably <laughs> the most advanced EW suite carried by a fighter, making the Gripen a valuable commodity for suppression or destruction of enemy air defense dead missions. Whoa! Oh my god! Lastly, now let's take a look at the operational history of the aircraft. A total of 204 Gripens were ordered by the Swedish Air Force in three batches. The first delivery was made to the Flyvakmnet on June 8, 1993 during a ceremony in Linkoping. The last of the first batch was sent on December 13, 1996. 
The first batch 2 sample was delivered to the Air Force on December 19, 1996. The Gripen has been exported to Hungary, the Czech Republic, Thailand, Brazil, and South Africa by Saab. Finland, Canada, Colombia, Botswana, Croatia, India, Indonesia, and the Philippines are among the countries that have expressed interest, with another dozen or so countries indicating some interest. Saab has been generally receptive to technology transfer and has made it easier for local companies to participate in the production process of some components. This has made the Gripen an interesting option for governments who struggle to explain where they spent the money to the skeptical public. Because of the involvement of British Aerospace Systems, the United Kingdom has an effective veto over the Gripen's export. Argentina has been unable to obtain the aircraft as a result of this. Oh. On the other hand, in the instance of Switzerland, the Gripen was caught up in the ongoing court case against right-wing agitator Julian Assange, as his supporters rallied against a referendum that would have authorized the Swiss Air Force to buy 22 fighter jets. Honestly, one of the things um, I think I admire in all these things is especially the pilots and the people that work around yeah. this. I can't work around this. It's the courage though. No. Uh, it's kind of height. <laughs> so you can't, you can, you can never. <laughs> ah, that's... The fact that, um, what do you call it, private company now produce parts. So you, then the face of completion, like yeah. for a company to reach a part where okay, I can get like iPhone, for example, now you know mm -hmm. iPhone, has, they're not the, like the full producer of all the whole parts. No, Samsung no, no. do produce the screen. Yeah. Uh, Sony do produce the camera lenses. You see, like they in that point, that like, okay, they can get things for everybody. They're, like their their work is done. They really have everything in motion. Like before, they were like solely trying to produce everything, everything themselves. So bring, but now they reach that place. They already draw the blueprint of it. So now people have seen the vision, and people can like. I've explained the vision clearly enough for people to see tap and tap into the vision and produce for them. And the list of countries purchasing these flights from them are like, they were, they were like up to seven countries, right? No, they were more than 10. More than 10, right? Yeah. So that's another uh, income for the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine a project that you spend 60 million to work on. They didn't say the expense is They said the least. The, okay, the least is 60 million. the smallest. Yeah, it's 60 million. So sure. now imagine how much 22 agile jets will cost. This country, Argentina wanted to project, but then Argentina are aware of Australia, they are project uh, to the two of it. So imagine how much you be paying to Sweden government. Like, there's a little more. If you look at this, you, you remember there was a time we watched um, one FA1, I mean, F1 something yeah. something, that they said their, their annual budget is about 400 or something million. Oh, yeah. F1 from the yeah. one, yeah. You know, I really thought it was crazy. Then yeah. watching this now, I can I can now see how yeah. all these things come, come to. You know, honestly, they spend a lot of money, money. in these projects, yes. and it's it's really fascinating. But well, actually, there's results with like yeah, see yeah. how light are more compatible. Not it doesn't look it. too sophisticated. Yeah. And the fact you carry those, lightness, you know. the fact you can carry those misa, those misa actually they're like I think they're standby misa that most they put on the ground to project. Then you put a target, then you shoot. I don't think they should. They just release it. Then program the missile um, get um, has a GPS. Um, what I'm trying to say device. normally, like they said that those jets don't take missile. It's the first of all jets to like carry that particular kind of missile. Oh. Like those kind of missile, I believe. Like if you watch, if you, if you are current on the the uh, current wars that be going, I don't want to put names because of this is it to copyright. Copyright yeah. him. If, if you are current to the current war, you see those missile they used to shoot to. Okay, air defense. and the air defense. You notice they are not on jet, like they're being like stationed on the ground with their own equipment. Yeah, so, they're programmed. So, like now they introduce that technology into these jets, like for the first time. But that's actually a lot. Like for jets to carry such kind of length of missile. You see how, no. So now imagine how invisible this jet is locking on the target and can shoot to how many miles they said. Well, so about the, eight, 80 kilometers. So now imagine the, if I'm the, not mistaken. the attack of these jets is being increased. You understand? So if it's on dog fight with another jet, it's a win win. Like, yeah. But when the first it does drop that missile alone, lock targets, it's gone. And it was precise. Yeah, pre like precise. Yeah, it's gone. Precise. So this is actually a, like they've gone to the completion of this project. They've actually had a lot because there's always room for improvement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always room and, for development. Uh, yeah, development. So, but at this point, I think this jet is actually invisible. 
I've seen the American Jets. That is actually my player. So, but I didn't expect Sweden to be like, I want to take the world ranking of Air Force Power. But like saying this, I think Sweden will be close to the US actually. Yeah. Because this is actually a good development, guys. I want to appreciate you guys for watching with us this time. Thank you guys. And as again, I'm done with Buzz. Belly? Yeah, I'll be dropping the link to the channel down in the description box down below. You can go check this content out. It has good content as well. Don't comment, I hate high too. <laughs> <laughs> you really know that, so you don't have to comment that again. Yeah, this video was a good one to watch. Very educated yeah. as well. Like, I've been educated in the way I can't even explain, guys. My subscription is free, guys. So, what are you waiting for? Comment, like, check it out. Yeah, I hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a safe day. Bye bye.